My name's Danny Hart and welcome to my house. Welcome back to Live to Ride. In this episode, we've got downhill legend Danny Hart. He's a two-time world champion. He's won multiple downhill races, including the finale of last season in Snowshoe. Really stoked to say we've got Madison Saracen supporting this project again. We had such a good time hanging out with Danny that I actually took the vlog camera. So there's gonna be a vlog following up this film. You'll be able to find out more about that at the end. But for now, let's find out a little bit more about the Red Car Rocket, Danny Hart. I'm a professional downhill mountain bike racer. Do you like that? That's pretty good, isn't it? It's a nice way to live. This is Red Car in the background. Lovely windmills, vertical pier, coastline, beautiful. little fishing town traditionally. We're also famous for the steel works that we have. Were you feeling strong before the season in 2020? So I had, had a busy off season and a busy winter, you know, so I was feeling good. When I heard that the first World Cup had been cancelled, I was, I was disappointed, but I knew it was going to give me more time to get ready for the second one. And then they just carried on getting cancelled, which sort of has sucked, you know, like I haven't even rode downhill, you know, because here in the UK, we rely on shuttles, so Obviously not allowed to do that, so it's been a real blow for riding downhill. What has been, say, some of the highs for you? Being able to spend a lot more time with, with Sadie, my daughter, and Sophia, my wife, you know, so that's been really good. And Sadie's now nearly five months old. She's changing every week, so that's really cool. Enjoyed our time at home because Danny's been here as well. We would have missed the first couple of races otherwise, so I'm secretly glad that they were cancelled. <laughs> With so much history in the sport, Danny's house is littered with mementos. I had to ask him a little bit about his racing. Racing, you're there to win, aren't you? Yeah, because I know I can win. I obviously won the last World Cup last season. I won a few World Cups a few years ago. Like, that's quite a deep question for me. You know, I just go and ride my bike and I race my bike. And to be honest, like, there isn't a lot for me to think about like that. I just do what I can do. I do what I do and like I don't mean to sound like big headed or whatever, but it all just comes naturally and it's and yeah, it's it's good to be like that, you know, I'm not puzzling very often. Summer now I've been able to ride motocross in the in the nice weather, you know, so that's been really cool and I usually I'd nip motocross in the bud around like Christmas, New Year time and then all my eggs go into the one basket of downhill. So we've just come down the local track to do some uh, motocross. I've been spending a, quite a bit of time here and it's a good way of training, isn't it? And usually I don't get much chance to ride in the summer, so it's been nice to be riding in the summer instead of the shit and slop.
with not being able to ride downhill this is the closest I can get to them sorts of speeds. I've been doing like 30 minute motos and it's really good training the heart rates are high and my coach has been a couple of times to watch so he agrees with it but now I think is the time to to knock it on the head because if I help myself now I'm not going to be right maybe before we intend to go racing. That's my motocross summer drone. There's been a new pump track built up in Chopwell Village and yeah, it's really cool. It's um, the first pump track like it that I've ever ridden. Sky high. The watch is going to blow up. Yeah, it's a good crew, of lads, and we have a good laugh. Jack of all trades, master of this one. Yeah, pretty much I. <laughs> Yeah, so probably when you're watching this, I'll be out in Leger and Morzine over in the Alps, just getting my feet back on the ground with the bike, because I obviously haven't ridden for quite a few months now. To me, it's still not 100% that we're going to go. I know there's a date there, and but yeah, I'm going to go away and get riding, and, and I'll make sure I'm ready either way. There we go, guys. I hope you enjoyed that episode with the downhill legend himself, Danny Hart. If the vlog is available for you to see, you can watch that just here. There might not be an episode for next week because I'm currently doing up the Great White, which is going to be my converted Mercedes Sprinter camper van. The plan is to get that livable for a trip up to Scotland at the end of July. But to keep updated with all things Live to Ride, please subscribe. Cheers, guys. Cheers.